This mini PC is tiny. I mean, it wouldn't be mini if it wasn't. And it could do PC stuff. It's a straight up computer and it's small enough to fit in my hand. See, look, I have it in my hand right now. And I have a banana in this hand. And I have a can of root beer in the... Wait, what? Ah, yeah, get him, get him, get him, oh, all right. Oh, what's this? A mini PC. Cool, I love mini PCs. They're fun little computers that you can play games on. Check it out, Finn. Are you jealous? Yeah, you are. What's this one? Camry. Camuri. Cam, Camrui. I don't know. Do you know, Finn? Uh, what PC is this anyways? Oh, there we go. Uh, name mini PC. Model, no. AK1 Pro. So this is the Pro model for professionals. Huh. I guess that means I'm not allowed to use it. Unless I'm going to start acting like a professional, I guess. Okay, I think we could do that. <laughs> Sorry, Finn. Sorry, Jake. Yeah, I know. We got we to gotta get this place all tidied up and professional. That means no toys, no Game Boy, no dice. Just boring office crap. Like a white desk, maybe a, a notebook and a pen. No, not that pen. A grown-up pen. Yeah, there we go. Uh, what else do professionals have? Calculators, I think. Maybe a plant, a, a succulent or two. And uh, what about a laptop or... Oh, a MacBook. My mom has one of those. Hang on a sec. Hey, Bob. Can I use your MacBook? I, I, ju I just ne I need it. I, I, I need to fix it. It's got a virus. I'll fix it for you. Yeah, there we go. MacBook. Super professional now. And I guess we're ready to check this thing out then. This here is the Camrui AK1 Pro. It's a tiny little mini PC. And what's interesting about this mini PC is that it's Amazon's choice as the top brand pick of all their mini PCs. This thing has over 1000 reviews with a 4.4 star rating. So obviously people like this PC. It's, it's impressive for any product, but I'm not your average Amazon shopping soccer mom. I'm TechTweeb, so let's put this thing through its paces and see what it can really do. And if you want to pick one of these up, there's a link in the description below. And if you check it out on Amazon, you have to go look at the hilarious promo images. Cam Rui, pioneer in mini PC. Enjoy a happy family day. Strong wiferless supports. No stuck, no wait. Well, that's good news. Oh, and it's also a visual fees. Super professional, right? In the box, we get the PC itself, which we'll check out in a bit. And under here, we get a charging adapter. This is a 30 watt adapter. Anything else? Oh, wow, an HDMI cable. What a nice surprise. Yay. And there's also a mounting bracket in case you wanted to put this on the back of a TV or a monitor. And also a word paper book with a bunch of useful words and stuff. And onto the PC itself. It's not very big, but check this out. It actually gets smaller. So this bottom chunk at the bottom, this can hold a 2.5 inch SATA laptop hard drive or SSD. So you got some nice easy storage upgrades there. However, if you don't want to use that, you can unlock these little locky switches and this whole bottom comes right off. So if you're not going to use this, you could put it back in the box or throw it out your window. And the PC is even smaller now. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it is. On the back of the PC, we get a power plug hole and one USB-A hole and two HDMI holes. So you can plug dual monitors into this bad girl and an Ethernet hole and a headphone speaker hole and a Kensington lock hole. So your neighbor can't steal your professional PC full of professional things. And on the side is a power button and three USB-A holes. Two of them are 3.0 and one of them is 2.0. And it has a fancy shiny metal logo on top that looks like a, a, a moth. I see a moth. And there's a little bit of an opening that goes all around the PC for exhaust. And in there you can see some metal stuff. Oh, and it lights up when you turn it on because we're a professional like that. 
This thing has an N5105 processor, which is a low power Celeron processor with four cores and four threads and a max speed of just 2.9 gigahertz. So not a beast. And we get integrated UHD graphics, of course. We do get 16 gigabytes of LPDDDR4X RAM. It's only clocked at 2400 megahertz, but this is a dual channel RAM. We also have a 512 gigabyte NVMe SSD for our internal storage. And we get some other stuff. Dual band, 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 4.2 all that good stuff. And we get a very standard install of Windows 11 with all your standard professional Microsoft bloatware pre-installed like Teams and OneDrive. And we're going to leave the default Windows 11 desktop wallpaper like professionals do. But what kind of professional things do professionals do with their computers? That's what we need to do. So let's uh, check out some accounting stuff. Here I am in Google Sheets. Yep, this thing can view Google Sheets. And even accountants need to take breaks to watch 4K YouTube videos while their boss is in the bathroom pooping. So let's do that. And yeah, no big issues. A few drop frames, but nothing you would notice. This thing can definitely handle 4K video. What about watching six TechDweeb videos at once? Oh yeah, it passes that test. Oh, uh, some professionals use like Photoshop and video editing or whatever. That's what I like to do sometimes when I'm feeling professional. And yeah, you can easily open high-res photos in Photoshop and edit them, apply a bunch of effects or whatever, and it's quick and snappy. And video editing is okay. Not the most amazing performance ever, but it works. I quickly edited this video and applied a bunch of effects and I could still scrub the timeline and work on edits and stuff. Rendering time wasn't the best, but it never is great on low-end PCs, so be prepared to wait for your video to finish. So as far as general Windows stuff, professional apps and graphic design stuff, yeah, this thing will definitely get the job done for you. Oh, and I want to mention at this point that even when you're doing intensive tasks, this PC is pretty darn quiet. It's not quite as quiet as the quietest PC that I've tested, the Ace Magic S1 but it is a close second, I think. Let's uh, do a few benchmarks to see how much professionalness we can squeeze out of the AK-1 Pro. First up, it's Cinebench R23, which is a CPU benchmark and should represent how the processor in this will stand up to higher end processing tasks. We got a multi-core score of 1,920. So this chip is no beast. We should expect it to handle only basic stuff, I think. Next up, we'll benchmark the SSD that we have in here, which is how fast the system will load resources as it needs them, and also the speed to copy files, for instance. In Crystal Disk Mark, we got these results, and without getting into detail, these results are kinda so-so. They're not great, but they're fine. It's fast enough for a system drive, but it's not amazing. And finally, we have a GPU-heavy benchmark, 3D Mark Time Spy which should help us compare the graphical capabilities of this thing against other mini PCs. I got a total score of 353. So comparing this to the last super cheap mini PC that I reviewed, the Ace Magic S1, the AK1 Pro did worse than the Ace Magic S1 in basically every test. And all that comes down mostly to just the processor that we have in here. The N5105 isn't as modern as the N95. So while this may be the most popular PC on Amazon, it might not be the best bang for the buck depending on what else is available at what price. The prices of these things change all the time and I always get people mad at me when I mention the price in the video and then they go to buy it and it's a different price. I'm going to link to this thing in the description below. You go check the price yourself and decide if it's right for you. Even professionals need to take a break every now and then. Nobody could work all day every day. So what happens when the boss goes home and it's time to let loose and take off the tie and kick off your shiny black shoes and have some me time? No, no, no. I'm talking about games. Play some games, you freak. Yeah, there you go. So in terms of gaming, there is lots you'll be able to play on here. 
but let's keep our expectations in check. You won't be playing AAA modern PC games, but you can still play quite a good range of amazing games. First up is low spec games. These sorts of games run on almost any PC, so it's not surprising that they run here. But I like to show them because I think it's important to remember that PC gaming is more than just big flashy AAA titles with amazing graphics. There's a whole world of PC gaming out there that is accessible to everyone. And some of my current favorite and all-time favorite games are in this category. The more demanding stuff won't run amazing, but tons of stuff will be playable. So grab yourself a controller, install Steam Big Picture Mode, and you got yourself an indie or low-spec game console that can play whatever fun low-spec games tickle your fancy. And another category of games that'll run on here is older games. Games from like 10 or 15 years ago that were graphically impressive at the time, and now we have the horsepower to run those sorts of games on a cheap mini PC. You can play your Skyrim and your Bioshock or whatever. I like to think of these as Steam Backlog games. You probably have a Steam library full of games from this era, or maybe you can grab a bunch of them for a few bucks on the next Steam sale. These games are some of the best games ever made. So a cheapo mini PC like this can be your Xbox 360 era gaming PC, and it'll do fine at that. AAA PC games aren't gonna run. Just trust me, if there is some graphically impressive modern game and you're thinking maybe, just maybe, it'll be playable on that mini PC, yeah, I wouldn't get your hopes up. This PC is for potato games, not fancy graphics. But there is one more category of games that a PC like this excels at. Retro games. You can play through decades and decades of retro games on here all dang day. I've shown in videos before that the best way to turn a gaming PC like this into a retro console is to build or buy an emulation hard drive. The one that I'm using today is the Chris Cool Mod 4TB Mini Retro Beast. I love this one because it has a great front end that is fun to navigate, and it's all set up and ready to go. And the game's lists are amazing. It has all the games for everything up to PS1 and Dreamcast, and even a ton of higher end games from GameCube and PS2, and Xbox, and even Xbox 360, and Nintendo Switch. This thing will handle the older stuff no problem, but it maxes out at GameCube. So you'll be able to play some of those games, but not everything. And PS2 wasn't going well, so I I didn't bother hunting around to see what would play well. Still, with GameCube and below, that's like 30 years of retro gaming that you can play on here. And now we come to the bajillion dollar question. Should you buy the AK-1 Pro? Well, are you a professional? If so, then you need a computer with the word Pro in its name. And this is that, so you can't go wrong, right? But for everyone else, maybe. But I, I guess it depends on what the price is compared to everything else. You can't always tell how good a mini PC is by its specs alone. There's a lot more to how enjoyable a mini PC is, like the, the fan noise, the shape, the way it looks, number of ports. Completely subjectively, yeah, I think this is a good little mini PC. It's a good choice if it's like 150 to like 180 bucks. Maybe not the best choice. I'd probably pay extra for something with a Ryzen chip and integrated Radeon graphics if it were me. But if you want to spend the bare minimum, then something like this would work fine. And at the very least, you can fulfill your dreams of having a PC that's as professional as you are. Oh, what's this? That's a, huh. I, I don't know where that came from. Some kid put it there, I guess. I'll just leave this here, just in case he comes back looking for it. And that brings us to the end. If you like this video, then check out this video for the Ace Magic S1. Another good cheap mini PC that I did like, but that one has a built-in screen. Ooh, there's a link on the screen right now and at the top of the description below. And you can go watch it now because we're done. I'm TechDweeb, thanks for watching. Bye bye